even if you don't see specifics of the costume, you know the shape. And the shape that Jodie originally loved, the boots and the short trousers and the braces and the coat we, we designed, I, th I just thought I need to do something similar so that it continues with the Doctor's theme but is absolutely completely different. I said, well, you, you're going to have to have a bow tie and Jodie was really up for that. I have altered the original Paul Smith coat. I really liked it because it had a colourful lining. You get to see the lining occasionally because obviously Jodie was suddenly in a shirt and a bow tie. I redid her braces in black, redid her boots in black, and she has no rainbow. So I added the rainbow to the coat. It's very subtle though. I talked to each of the companions, I did lots of research, and I went to their favorite places. It's beautiful, Ryan's Paul Smith suit, and he was thrilled. When I fitted it on him, it was like a glove. He's like a model. And then I talked to Mandip and I'd actually seen the sequin jacket and I was like, oh, I want Yaz in that. Not a dress or a skirt because they have so much running about and practical stuff to do. So I found the sequin jacket, showed it to Mandip, she loved it. Decided that she actually didn't need a, a shirt with a collar. So I bought her like a dressy little top. And I don't know if anybody's noticed what her necklace is. Mandip's necklace is a bow tie. So I put the bow um, on Mandip in the form of a necklace. Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.